Hello geeks, what's up? I hope you are doing fine. So in this video, I will uh, discuss about a very important opportunity for CSIT students. But before I uh, dive into this uh, particular uh, discussion, let me add a few points here. Guys, as we engineers, when we generally look for uh, job opportunities, uh, we generally uh, find uh, opportunity in private sector for example in few product based companies like Amazon Facebook Google and a uh, few service based companies like Accenture Infosys etc and some of us sometimes also uh, opt for uh, opportunities in uh, public sector units in India for example there, there are different PSUs and for that PSUs uh, gate exams uh, conduct the recruitment but apart from these opportunities many of us Many of us are not aware about many other opportunities. For example, there are uh, requirement of technical uh, people like engineers in a public sector banks also. And you know there are many public sector banks like SBI, Canra, IBPS. So basically they conduct uh, different different recruitment uh, for such kind of posts. For example, they also need application architect, they need technical lead. They also need a database administration, administrator. So basically, all these posts are filled with uh, such kind of recruitments. For such recruitments, most of the public sector banks comes up with specialist officers exam. So, for example, SBA SO exam, for example, Canra Bank SO exams. So there are uh, many opportunities and most of uh, the exams notifications comes in uh, like in November and uh, you uh, fill up the form uh, up to the January up to the January and then mostly exams happens in fab so basically it, it also depends on different different um, banks so these are the opportunity you shouldn't miss and apart from these banking uh, exams opportunity the opportunities to work with uh, NIC uh, uh, as a ISRO scientist so for all these posts we'll come up uh, with uh, articles uh, uh, or, or, or all, all, all the uh, resource material that you need to read uh, for such exams that you can find on geeks for geeks.org and for example uh, in this video I will talk about this particular notification SBI SO exam so this uh, uh, regarding this notification geeks for geeks.org published an article on 9th of Jan 2021 so let me dive into this uh, article detail then I'll also tell you how to fill this form who who are the people who are eligible and everything else okay so first uh, this is uh, the article that you can uh, go through but uh, before that I will uh, put up two notifications so SBI has put up uh, two notifications recruitment notification so you can see this is the f uh, this is the first notification and you can see there are six uh, uh, details of post mentioned in the notification for example uh, one post is related to uh, assistant manager in systems and then second post is deputy manager uh, systems then IT security expert and similarly you can see there are six posts here and grades are also mentioned alongside uh, with the post and you can see for example uh, for assistant manager in systems you can see there are 183 posts and for other uh, posts also you can see there are different different posts so overall you can see uh, I'll uh, let you know about all these posts, but before that, uh, there are uh, there, there is another notification that I'll, I'll discuss about. So there is another notification. In this notification, SBI has also launched two other uh, recruitment uh, posts. For example, one is related to assistant manager in security analyst, and then uh, deputy manager security analyst, and post number of vacancies are also mentioned here. So you can see, let me uh, go to the uh, Geeks for Geeks article. Here also it is mentioned that these are the eight posts in uh, two notifications uh, that I have just uh, showed you. So you can see these eight posts are mentioned here. And eligibility uh, criteria, what is the eligibility criteria uh, to appear in this SBI ASO exam? So basically last date to apply for this exam is today, 11th of Jan. And if you have filled this, then it's good. And 
for other exams also we'll uh, time to time upload uh, notification regularly on the geeks for geeks article page and here itself so now see what is the sba so exam eligibility criteria so see this eligibility criteria uh, depends on uh, the post for which you are applying for example uh, for example you can see here like this is the post uh, assistant manager system so here you can see the basic qualification that is uh, you should be engineering graduate in computer science it ec or mca and uh, specific skills you can read here but do not worry about it as of now and uh, there are other posts also similarly you can see uh, their basic qualification but uh, i'll tell you about two specific posts that is very important that uh, you should uh, you, you should not forget about for example this one assistant manager system and assistant manager security analyst these two posts are very important the reason is let me tell you reason also see if you uh, look at uh, this post assistant manager system you can see here you only need to have a basic qualification that is you should be engineering graduate or mca or msc in computer science but here in other posts for example deputy manager or the it security expert or the project manager or the technical lead you can see here that they also require minimum five year of post basic qualification experience here here it is eight years so basically uh, apart from this number one post all these posts also require uh, some kind of industry experience but uh, do not worry about it uh, if you are eligible for such post you can also apply uh, in your respective domain but for this particular post assistant manager system and this assistant manager security analyst for these two posts you do not need to have uh, industry ex experience so this is regarding uh, the uh, education and uh, qualification experiences required for uh, these two exams now uh, now other things uh, let me tell you regarding the age limit for example uh, for the assistant manager security analyst the age limit is 28 years and for the assistant manager system this is your is age limit is 30 years and for the senior post for the higher grades you can see uh, this is a bit relaxed here so you can go accordingly now uh, as i have also i have already uh, um, have uh, walked through you regarding the academic qualifications in the uh, original pdf itself so all these details you can also see in this article here everything is uh, well uh, uh, written here and the most important thing the other thing uh, important thing is what is the selection process and what is the exam pattern so this is a very very important point now uh, why this exam is important for all of us the reason is here look at uh, the exam pattern the exam pattern basically first will be the online written examination so it will have basically two section number one is general aptitude and number two is professional knowledge in the general aptitude you can see here reasoning quantitative aptitude and english language is mentioned here and number of questions are also given here maximum marks given and for this section you will be allocated 90 minutes of duration and for the professional knowledge that is general it knowledge this is the very very important point for engineering students like us like number of questions uh, that would be asked in this exam is 75 and the major portion is allocated here you can see here and uh, the most important thing that about these three sections subsection reasoning quant and english for these uh, three papers you need just you need to clear just a basic cutoff these marks won't be calculated uh, in the final merit so this is a very very significant significant points and uh, we engineers should not worry about it if you if you are reasonably good in mathematics then you can solve quantitative aptitude questions like the basic questions like uh, related to train time and distance etc and english language basically for the english language you need to have command in uh, syntax correction re reading comprehension so all these things are very basic and the uh, engineers are very strong uh, in these fields but for this field professional knowledge 
the general id knowledge is very very important and this uh, allocates to uh, final merit lit uh, merit lit also so i'll uh, briefly discuss what kind of questions are asked in the uh, general id knowledge section and if you look at uh, the second uh, uh, post that is it security expert uh, for that post or the project manager or the application architect basically the senior uh, post for that also this uh, general aptitude section is same but the other section uh, that is professional knowledge it has general IT knowledge and role based knowledge so basically here 25 question will be general IT knowledge and 75 will be role based knowledge for example if somebody is applying for a technical uh, lead then they should uh, be having uh, such kind of question for example if somebody is appearing for as a, as a DBA then they should have uh, basically uh, command on database administrative related questions so such kind of questions are also asked in the higher grades okay so now the similar thing is also for the uh, security analyst post also uh, let me let me tell you where can you find it uh, just wait wait a minute yeah here so you can see this notification regarding the security analyst post here also if you look at the syllabus then you can see the uh, syllabus for uh, the pattern uh, for online written examination is same for uh, security analyst or for the system uh, uh system post so the syllabus is same so now uh, the important thing regarding a merit calculation that if you look at this particular thing that when the final merit will be calculated this written test would have a beta of 70 percent and the interview would be having a 30 percent beta and this written 37 written task that is a 75 70 percent beta uh, would be derived from this uh, general it knowledge section so you can see the importance of this particular section the, that is professional knowledge and uh, so all these details are here and the examination date that is uh, very important to know so uh, there are two posts for example let me tell you though uh, there are two notifications one is regarding the uh, system and regarding and the second notification regarding the security analyst so for uh, all these two notifications uh, the important thing uh, to know about that uh, the slavish that is uh, mentioned here the whole slavers is mentioned for professional knowledge section I, and, and um, apology for that i was telling you the exam date right so uh, the first exam date is tentative that is first of fab and second exam date is second of fab so for the two notifications you can check out uh, these two dates uh, these are tentative dates it may change but anyways look at the slavers here so uh, if you look at the slavers and if you look at the reasoning quant and english section then you can see these are the uh, syllabus uh, these are the basically sub indexing of a particular uh, section so there are for example in reasoning there are questions related to seating arrangement and number system in quant in, in english there are reading competition so i've already uh, told you regarding all these things so important part is this professional knowledge section so this is where we engineers will trim so look at this first thing computer fundamentals database management system programming language operating system data structure algorithm web technology computer network compiler design uh, computer organization architecture microprocessor software engineering so uh, there, the there are articles also uh, written in geeks for geeks.org for example there are many good articles related to data structure and algorithm for example related to stacks queue binary tree uh, for the web technology there are very good articles on html css so basically the point is for the professional knowledge section you, you do not need to go anywhere you can basically uh, go through all these articles and you can crack this exam easily and if you have a little bit doubt let me uh, also uh, uh give you a small walk through of previous exams so previous year papers so this paper is uh, from 2014 15 section or uh, 15 year 2015 so there are uh, first section english language that i've already told you and uh, there are regarding uh, quantitative aptitude b section third section is reasoning and 
this is uh, the fourth section that is professional knowledge so you can see uh, the questions here the questions are very very simple all questions are related to computer science subjects for example uh, let me tell you uh, one question what does cidr a method of allocating ip address stand for so if you even type cidr geeks for geeks you can see this article is already given here so everything you can find here and uh, th this this is uh, regarding 2015 paper and there is one more paper uh, 2012 question paper so you can see here uh, the many uh, question related to computer science like for example uh, this question regarding primary key and this uh, is regarding the full form of ddl so th this is a very very simple question and even if you put here ddl uh, geeks for geeks then you can see you can easily get a very good articles everything regarding ddl dml and in the, in the question paper they only ask their full form so basically everything is mentioned in uh, uh, in the in the form of good articles in geeks for geeks uh, and uh, if you look at this whole syllabus related to professional knowledge everything is mentioned uh, in the geeks or uh, geeks for geeks dot org articles so basically if you have any other doubts so regarding this sba so notification or other kind of government exams then you can uh, mention your queries in the comment section we'll try to reply you so for now just fill up this form and uh, all the best for your preparation if you have any other doubts related to uh, this exam then you can reach out to us so thank you bye bye and take care